So uh, today I thought I could show you how to make a balloon, um, something really simple and something that a lot of people probably don't even know how to do. So go ahead and open up Blender, uh, however you do it, and uh, let's just get rid of the camera and the light. And uh, what you do is you select them with the shift key and you press X to delete. <sighs> now. A balloon is obviously a very simple shape, but um, you always want to look at a reference just to inspire yourself to uh, create. So I've already done that. I've already done a Google search on balloons. So obviously it's a really simple shape, right? It's kind of uh, an oval tapered at the end, kind of an egg shape, you know, and it's got this little pig tie at the end there, you know. And of course there's different types of balloons. There's hot air balloons, but uh, we're just going to do a regular balloon. And um, there was one that was really good. Yeah, right here. Now, there's other shape of balloons where it's not like an egg, but it's sort of like um, an eggplant shape almost. Kind of like, uh, kind of got this tapered off at the end here. Um, we're going to do this type of balloon just so that it makes it look a little bit more like a balloon rather than. Uh, you know, not not so exaggerated here. Probably something more along the lines of this one right here. We'll do this one so that it's a little bit more tapered off at the end. And then we'll just do a little pig tie and a, a tail there. So you t press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Right? There's different modes here. Um, and then you go G Z. I'm gonna move it up one. And we're going to go into our uh, our menu here, right? There's all these different menus. We're going to go into the modifier stack. And we're just going to go ahead and do subdivision surface. Uh, we're just going to increase the view to 2. I like uh, changing my shading to smooth because I don't really like the, the whole flat. It just kind of looks stupid. So let's go ahead and you're going to press Control r Okay, Control R, and it creates this uh, subdivision, this uh, this ring, and you click it once, left click it, and now you get this uh, nice little subdivision right here, right? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come down like here, and then we're gonna go into uh, wireframe mode. Now wireframe mode, you just press Z and it changes, or you can press down here, you can press solid you've got texture mode there's not a texture on there yet then there's material mode uh, there's no material on there so clearly it's not gonna work um, and then of course there's rendered and there's no light in the scene so that's not gonna work either we're just gonna do wireframe so or Z just press Z we're going to go ahead and shrink this. And we're going to shrink this. So how to select anything is to press the, the, the key C. And it comes up with the selection tool. Okay, So you can just do that. And then you can raise this up. All right. Well, it's looking more and more like a balloon. You know, it's kind of, it's not round. So I'm going to make it a little bit more round there. So we're going to, I pressed, uh, basically on my keyboard, you have to have a number pad to use Blender. You press 1, and then you press 5, and you're into orthographic mode. Uh, or you can press over here, you can do, you can press it manually if you don't have a number pad, okay? But get a keyboard with a number pad, okay? So if you Mac users, you got to, you know, I don't use Mac, but... Uh, I don't think Macintosh comes with a number keypad by default. There we go. So I extruded it in order to make a better curve. You see that nice round curve there?
and how you extrude something as you press the, the key E like that E uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and undo that see that now we've got a much better shape like a balloon like the, uh, the like the picture like that nice round shape very nice uh, let's go ahead and press tab so now I'm in logic object mode um, the bounding box disappears right so Let's see here. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll just save this as balloon. Balloon. And uh, Blender Tutorial Series. Let's create. Bam. All right. So well, we got a little simple shape here. I have to make the pigtail at the end here, right? Pigtail is always important. You gotta have that pigtail or else it's not really a balloon. It's just kind of a weird egg shape, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go into edit mode. I'm gonna select the bottom here. I'm gonna press period. Okay, period. That centers the view, right? The, the period on the number keypad centers the view. Okay. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and extrude. I'm gonna shrink it. Alright, shrink it. I'm going to extrude again. I'm going to grow it. Extrude again. Extrude again. Extrude again. And this time I'm going to extrude and I'm going to shrink it and I'm going to extrude back inside so it looks like one of those looks like a little pigtail now that's a bit too big down there see that that's the, the pigtail at the end there is supposed to be really small so we're gonna go ahead and fix that right now center it We're gonna make it really small. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then we're gonna bring it up so that it's really small. Yeah, much better. Okay, it's uh, a whole lot better having a small little pigtail at the end there. Tiny little pigtail. Don't want it to be too big. In fact, it's still kind of too big. So let's go ahead and change that a little bit more. Uh -huh. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, so let's just make another subdivision right there. So that's really small. <laughs> it's just not getting small enough for me, for my, for my likes here. For what I want out of this. All right. And raise this up again. Oops. There we go. And then we're going to raise it up and then we're just going to look at it again. Uh, of course, I, I, I do uh, control. Oops. Oops. I mean, to copy. Shift C to center in the scene. 
Oh, that's really tiny. Oh, that's really small. Maybe I should make it bigger. What size is it? Yeah, so it's pretty big. All right. Let's move the, uh, so this is a 3D cursor and it kind of gets in the way sometimes. So I just right click it to get out of the view um, or left click it, it uh, depends on your uh, setup here. But uh, generally it's, uh, I fixed it so it's not left click. I hate left clicking with 3D mouse, it's right clicking, right? So there we go. A little bit better, you know. Let's move it down a bit. I'll make it a little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. It sort of looks better. Yeah, nice pigtail. All right, that sort of looks good. Yeah, you know, that's that's uh acceptable you know we're never gonna get all those little knots in there uh, unless we want to go into like modeling and really get details but I don't really see the point um, let's see here yeah yeah they, they all look kind of the same you know yeah people just draw it in look at that they just draw in the uh, they just make a little conic shape right there <laughs> they're like ah we're done with that yeah Nobody wants to draw those little knots. Mm. Okay, so let's go here. All right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and give it a material. Okay, so right here we're gonna click the material tab right here, and um, we're just gonna name it, you know, a balloon material. Okay, nice, uh, nice red color. Now right, let's do that blue. Let's do that nice, nice uh, azure kind of blue there. Um, let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go back into editing mode, and you know what? Let's just close out this uh, modifier stack. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, let's um, let's add some UV coordinates. Okay, it's always really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do UV right here, shading UV. This is a UV mapping, so we're just gonna select these, and we're gonna say mark scene. See how it's highlighted red? You can see the red highlight right there. See that? Yeah, that means that the program is uh, it's uh, marking that as a seam for the UV unwrapper. Okay, and that's really important in order to do texturing. Or to do really anything. For that matter. And uh, there we go. Um, Let's go ahead and close out this. Uh, let's go press apply on this so that we can look at the, uh, the texture word. So, yeah, it didn't do the whole bottom here. Here. Let's just go ahead and apply all of this. And then we'll just mark the seam right there. So it's a nice cutout, nice little cutout here. Um, let's zoom up here. And we'll 
we'll mark the seam here. And then I think we'll be done with that. Yeah, let's just be done with that. Um, you know what? Let's just mark this. Let's mark that too. There we go. So that it's nice, nice and wrapped, unwrapped right there. <sighs> let's take a look at it actually. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's close out this window. Let's go to UV editing window. Okay, so here's here's different windows that you get. Default. This is the default, and then you get uh, UV editing. Let's just go in there and. Um, center of this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to shading UV and say unwrap okay there's smart UV project but that does it automatically we just did it manually so might as well just do unwrap so it's gonna unwrap manually using what we already did here we go uh, looks good. Looks like there was there's no overlapping uh, UV textures or anything. Looks just totally unwrapped. So uh, let's go ahead and say uh, average island scale, pack islands. Ah, eh, you know, forget that. Let's just shrink it a bit. I don't like it touching the edge right there. Uh, there's usually like problems with like unity and and other game engines whenever you have like a texture like right next to the wall there's always some like bleeding or some weird graphical glitch so it's always good just to shrink it a bit all right we got our balloon it's unwrapped it's ready to go really um let me just show you how to uh do a uh a texture because might might as well. So uh got this balloon material right and you have it highlighted, you gotta have it highlighted. Then you go into texture and there's this thing called generated and there's flat but um what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to type and go to uh let's see here. Oh, oh, oh there's two different ways to do this so let me just show you the easy way. I'll just show you the easy way. You want to go into editing mode, select everything, and then what you're going to do is you're going to press new. And you're going to say, you know, balloon texture. And you, we want, let's just do a UV grid. Let's just do that. That's always kind of cool. Okay, then press OK. And now we got ourselves a UV grid that's associated with our balloon. So if we go here, see it, how it's still blue? let's go into texture mode see that now it's showing the UV grid exactly what we have over here see that but we have to go into texture mode okay see that not material but texture okay now we could also do um, you know uh, solid and then you say textured solid okay See how now it's there's shading in here. There's some somewhat of shading, so you could do that. So let's just uh, let's do that also. Uh, but texture is better because see how it's not shaded. It's shadeless, so that you can see the texture more clearly. But uh, if you kind of like the the shading that's going on inside the Unity rendering engine, then you can do that way but you have to go in here you have to go to shading and you have to press textured solid see that and if you don't press texture solid then it ain't gonna work so you can look at this this is a nice grid layout right here and uh, you can see if there's any bending or stretching marks and of, of course there's not there's no bending or stretching marks come on <sighs> so there we go and uh, what you want to do is you want to save your and in order to get this window you gotta press in but I mean I texture solid right there shader texture solid really easy uh, this is a type so you're gonna want to save your 
image. So let's just go ahead and save image. Save image as, or you could press F3, of course. Ah, uh, create balloon, yeah. So balloon texture is ping, yeah, let's just do that. And now it should be saved. Okay, so we go back to default and we look at this and uh, texture type, um, image or movie, image or movie, balloon texture. There we go, ping right there. And uh, it should be saved in your local files. If it's not, you can just press open and then open it that way. And that should work. And uh, you could rename this. I don't really see the point. It's usually totally pointless. Um, let's see here. Balloon texture. Yeah, it all works. It all worked out fine. And now it's linked to your file. So it's right here. You got your balloon texture ping so you can open it up in uh, whatever you want you know uh, you know GIMP you know I have GIMP or Photoshop if you like to pay a thousand dollars for a free program or you can just get GIMP for free uh, yeah if you're one of those types that likes to spend thousands of dollars on merchandise that you can get for free well you do that and that really concludes my tutorial because I don't really have anything else to say. I guess we can do a quick uh, import into Unity, but I don't really see the point. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's let's. Uh, I'll just show you how to do that. Yeah, I got all these crazy characters. So let's just uh, do a new scene here. Let's do our assets. Uh, let's see here. Great. New folder. Balloon. Balloon. All right. So let us import. So we're going to have it selected, right? You select it. Uh, and then you're going to go up to file. You're going to do export FBX. Bam. All right. And then what we're going to do is go into Unity Games and uh, we're going to go do my library here and we're going to go to uh, our assets balloon fbx and it should just export it really quickly um I don't believe i exported the texture mapping with it so should be yeah i didn't i didn't do that and it's right here it's nice Blue balloon, look at that. You can have a little balloon game or whatnot. Uh, whatever you're into, you know. Balloon popping game. I'm sure there's like a thousand balloon popping games out there already. But um you know, don't don't mind that. Uh let's do a a plane here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh I love the shadowing in Unity. Unity three just looks so cool. And then we're gonna stretch it out. Uh huh. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Uh, you can of course add a string, and I don't really see the point of giving you a tutorial on how to make a string. Uh, it's basically just a box, and you just stretch it out, and you just warp it. You know, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Why not? Uh, some people out there probably have no idea how to make a string so I'm gonna give you a short and quick easy way how to make a string okay you're gonna press shift a you're gonna press mesh and you're gonna do cube okay now here's the trick you're gonna go into editing mode you are press alt M and you're gonna say this is merge right so you go alt M at center and it merges everything together into one single point but you're gonna add a modifier to it and you're gonna go into skin the skin modifier okay now I love the skin modifier okay this is the best modifier they ever invented so basically it makes a skin and you can draw like this draw like this draw like that I like that got a nice little string there and what you gonna do let's just go ahead and apply Oops. Go ahead and apply it. 
and then we're going to go ahead and go to a subdivision surface. Okay. Ah, you know what? Let's go back. Skin, let's go back to skin. Okay, subdivision surface. Right there. And inside the skin modifier, what we want to do, I believe it's control A and it shrinks it. Yeah, okay, control A. And it shrinks the points to a small, fine, fine shrinking. Fine, fine shrinking. So then we're going to keep shrinking until it's a string shape, right? And we want it around this point here so that it's not. There we go. There we go. Nice, small string shape, right? Strings are really uh, small. So. We're gonna want to get it small enough. There we go. See that? You got a nice little string there. And what we can do is we can do subsurface modifier uh, or subdivision surface, excuse me, and we can put it above this. See how it just smoothed it out? See that? See that? It made it crooked. It's all crooked, right? You're going, oh, that's ugly. That's an ugly string. How could I how could I sell that in a game, right? And then you just press, you know, you just get the subsurface, and now you've got a nice smooth string. But of course, it just screwed up up here. So let's just bring that up like that. is adjust into place yeah there we go and let's go ahead and um, apply 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 let's just do that and then we'll say smooth make it nice and smooth can't have it not smooth and then we're gonna give it a material uh, just say string string material there we go and then we're just say black let's just do like Eh, let's do a white string. What do you think? White string, black string. I think string is white, isn't it? Yeah, it's usually just white. Let's just go with white. Let's go with the really pale white. Let's just do high intensity. Um, yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and export this again. Uh, balloon go ahead and export it and let's go ahead and look at it ah of course it always rotates it I don't know why it does that uh, let's go with balloon there we go <laughs> just get rid of that thing yeah whatever that was some monstrosity yeah look at it's white and everything look at that you got a string you got a balloon and it's in unity and you can Load it around or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, and that's it. That really concludes my tutorial. There you go. All right. Uh, goodbye. I'm going to stop recording now. Uh,